The autumn had been very kind to us, with multiple big carp on our guided tuitions, alongside some truly epic monsters we caught along the way. But now it was time for me and Claire to go fishing. Embarking on our last session in France before we moved to Spain, this would be our toughest trip so far this year. But against all the odds, we never gave up or lost faith. Thank you so much, you epic, epic creature. So here we are back at the Eurotunnel terminal and uh, yeah, we're just about to head back to France to our house, but things are looking very different around here. The whole place is literally like a ghost town. I'll show you some of the, some of the scenes. It's a little bit surreal. Yeah, it's just really strange. Check this out. Literally a ghost town. We're finally back on French soil, making the eight hour journey down to our house in France. The time in the UK was well spent, and fortunately for us, the damage from the break in wasn't too severe. So, all we needed to do was a couple of minor repairs and a lick of paint before it was ready to rent out. Now, we managed to find some tenants for our house, which was great news, and hopefully, they're going to stay there for a while, which will give us a bit more stability in our life. Right, I best get my foot in as we've got a long way to go yet. And yeah, and a massive amount of work to do when we get back. So glad to be back home in France, babe. Back at home, it was time to finish off some edits before getting organised for the up and coming angling tuitions. Well today I'm making preparations for my forthcoming angling tuitions. Now I've got three of these back to back in rapid succession, so it's really important that I have preparations on point to ensure the clients have the best time they can. Before every trip I make sure all the rods have got fresh leaders on, along with fresh baited rigs, leads and all the terminal tackle my clients will require while they spend their time with me. I've got a lot to sort out today, so I really best get cracking on. I would take all three clients to the same three lakes as I had intricate knowledge of the stock and the approach needed to catch the giants that reside in these waters. These venues were some of the most stunning lakes I've ever fished with equally stunning carp to match and only could be described as a true angler's paradise. Every client trip was a dream session with multiple big carp caught and including some absolute monsters. 49 pounder, lovely. <laughs> Get my fur in there. You grafted hard, mate. A dream end to what's been an incredible session with Pedro. If Carlsberg done angling tuitions, this should certainly be one of them. Look at that. What did he go, mate? 53.8. We'll check that out for an old alpine carp. We dropped onto this lake a couple of days ago and instantly found fish. This place is insane. I think we're knocking on for 40 plus runs now. What a weapon. Absolutely incredible, mate. Yes, bruv. Dream carp. Well done, mate. Dream, <laughs> boy. Well, I said this was going to be the last session on this incredible lake. I started fishing here at the back end of lockdown, just as we all come out, and uh, yeah, it really got under my skin. 
and I couldn't help but find myself coming back again and again and again for a total of nine times. Now I normally only fish one or two uh, trips to a lake, maximum of three, but this lake there was just something about it. And when you see this carp, you'll know exactly what. Oh, and there he is, 62 and a quarter pounds, oh, 28.1 kilos if you're European, an absolute colossal carp. Oh, the fish were jumping all over us last night as we reeled our rods in, and yeah, we was keen to get them out at first light this morning. After dropping all our lines, this one rattled off 10 minutes later. It gave me a hell of a scrap, about 25 minutes in total, an absolute brute of a carp and a fantastic way to end my angling.